Yes! <laughs> Just say see you next week, no. guys! No! How many maker stuff does it take to get a bolt in? Five. Usually. Hey, Lily! Oh. <laughs> Can't beat grease in your shaft, can you? They'll get by me, don't you? I've heard the rumours. <laughs> Ouch! If you swear in Romania, nobody will know. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Nah, no, I don't think so. Ben, can you remember to bleep that bit? Because I, I, I don't know what he just said. It all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I'd followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, I'm Dave and welcome back to Maker. This is episode 28 and as you can see here, this is the 300 CDI that you remember from the last episode. I'll just stop right there go down, hit like, hit subscribe, and share it to the world. So guys, last week, you'll see that we pulled this rusty chassis off, and we've got a brand new Marsden chassis here rolling. As you can see, it's had a lot of different extras. So the customer's gone with a new set of wheels and tires, it's gone with some new mud flaps, new exhaust system, shocks, springs, mounts. We decided to put a new fuel tank on this car because the other one was heavily corroded. As you see here, nice and shiny, so we've got a new sender unit, a new return unit, everything. We decided to put new hoses and everything on this vehicle because it's really a TDI, she's got some age to it, and as we all know, rubber perishes, so we've gone, we've just gone in depth really, but as you can see, there's some rusty bits. So our customer had a limited budget, so we've worked with budget, as we try and do with every client. Uh, this Defender 90 is in for clutch change. Uh, so far, we've taken prop shafts off it, uh, centre section of the exhaust, uh, currently in the, doing the, um, undoing the bolts of the transfer box, to take the transfer box out, pull the box out and change the clutch. Uh, all doing it today, customers will have the car back tonight. Um, customers had it mapped so he's upgrading the clutch slightly on it. Um, customers supplied a clutch so it'll be in and out today. Uh, that's the gearbox out, um, the two bolts behind the DPFs are a bit of a pain, I managed to get them out. Um, next job, take the clutch out, change over. So what does taking the clutch out involve now? Just these bolts, it's just uh, six bolts, seven bolts around the edge of it. Change the flywheel whilst we're at it. Because this has been slipping. So it's a case of, because you're in here and you've got another part, you might as well do that. 95% of the time you're changing the clutch because it's slipping. So you'll just change the flywheel whilst you're at it. Sometimes you'll upright them for a, for a uh, solid mass. You can see it's been slipping. Yeah, there's quite a lot of dust coming off that in there. There's a lot left on it, but it's been getting hot. It's just power it's putting through it, it's just slipping. What's he got? Oh yeah. Been sat a while, this clutch, isn't it? When we took the gearbox off, we've noticed that the splines for the drive shaft coming out of the gearbox which is this here. Um, they're quite common to wear and on the Pumas. Uh, the splines here and the splines in the insert in the gearbox go. Um, so what we do is we take them out, we assess them. If they're worn, we replace them. And what we replace them with is a kit from LOF, which is a solid shaft, which goes straight into the box without any splines. And it's a bolt that bolts straight into the output shaft inside the gearbox, gets rid of the splines, uh, and it's just straight drive onto your transfer box then. Uh, 
old clutches out and um, clean the face of the old flywheel up because the flywheel is solid mass so we haven't need to replace that. Uh, use the clutch alignment tool, fit the new clutch, torque all the bolts up, uh, replace the slave cylinder in the bell housing of the new of the gearbox uh, and then we've just got to do the reverse of taking everything out which could put everything back together. Right guys, we've got a new member of the team. This is Aid Irwin. He's left for Remy. How many years did you do? 25. So he's done his 25 years and decided to carry on doing a little bit more for another ex-serving guy. So he's going to tell you now what he's done on his football. Right, Aid, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you all. So we had a wholly and wholly set of footwells on this vehicle. So we've stripped them out, cut them back to a nice where we could find some decent metal. What we've also done there is we've upgraded these ones from the normal thin material that we get. So we've gone with some three mil plate. So that's all in, bended, folded, seamed in. And uh, we're going to drop that back down now. Right, so we've loaded it down now. We're just checking the final fitment. Once we drop it down, because we've put the new footwells in, we'll realign, put some new holes through and uh, reattach this body to this brand new chassis. So as you can see, none of these bulkheads are ever actually straight, so we're just using a ratchet strap to pull it in the last two mil. There we go. Happy days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week.